And so... Pikachu and Ivan formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their, their arrival. The Pokemon Company Chunsoft presents Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. Huh. Would you like to save your adventure? No. No? Yeah, hit no. Chapter 2 The New Guild Recruits. This is really tough skilled. Oh, by the way. Hi again, guys. Good to see you. Well, welcome back to the show. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Why? Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. But why do you have to? It's forced labor. No, it's more like... <coughs> organization. <coughs> y y yikes! Ooh. Isn't there something just a little bit odd about this place? The f***ing terrifying Wigglytuff thing? <laughs> no! I've got Ivan with me this time. Oh. I have to be brave. Thank you. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Who's fo whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Pikachu's. The footprint is Pikachu's. What? N no. I have to be strong. You may enter. Someone's with you. So get that stranger to stand up there. They, uh, they probably mean you, Ivan. They said to stand up here. Dot, 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 dot. There's a grate covering the hole. It looks nice. Yeah. Show it. It's made so that no one can fall through. Thank you. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it will tickle my feet, or... Hey, you! Stranger! Get on the grate! Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is... Uh, the footprint is... Um... What's the matter? Sentry? Sentry! What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Um, uh, um, the footprint is maybe Chimchars, maybe Chimchars. What? Maybe? B but it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ugh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprint of visiting Pokemon? That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yes, but I don't know what I don't know. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait! Well, it's true that you don't see any Chimchar in these parts. But you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter! <laughs> Yikes! Oh, I'm so nervous. So jittery. But I am glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. We've been accepted. There, There's a hatch that leads underground here. Wow! This is Wiggly Tough Skill. Also, for everyone at home, it is taking everything in my power not to sing along with this. So many Pokemon! I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Excuse me. Mm. 
It was you two that just came in, right? <laughs> y yes. I'm Chad Hart. I'm the Pokemon in the no I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. I'm the Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right hand Pokemon. Now shoo! Leave the premises! We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. N no that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? An exploration team? It's rare to see kids like this want to apprentice at the guild. Especially given how hard our training is. Surely the steady stream of Pokémon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. That, they're making this out to be like super hard, like... This is like Excuse me. Level 10 difficulty on Smash Bros. Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Well, no, 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 no. It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. <laughs> is Chantal supposed to be a parrot? His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay. Let's get your team signed up right away. Follow See the bad me. guy at the end? Damn it, Ryan. How did you know? You've never played this game before. Yeah. No, that's retarded. Oh, anything wrong? Come on. Over here. Quickly, please. This is the guild's second underground floor. <coughs> oh god, coughing, why? This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Okay. Wow! Oh, We're two floors under the ground, but you can see outside! Oh, please. Hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural that you would be able to see outside. Oh. <laughs> Just, oh. Now, here we are at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. On no account. I repeat, on no account <coughs> should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Why would anybody ever? Guildmaster, it's Chatot. I'm coming in. You've got to make the sing noise sound. The sing noise sound. Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our guild as apprentices. Actually, I want to join as a master, but you told me I have to start as an apprentice. Uh, gu Guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster? Hiya! I'm really tough. <laughs> I'm the guild's guildmaster. You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it. First, we must register your exploration team's name. So, tell me your team's name. Oh, our team's name? We didn't think of that. <laughs> so what do you think would be a good name for us, Ivan? Ivan TT. Wow. This is the team name. Right. Uh, I... I like how it starts as Pokemon, though. Yes, that's cool. that is adorable. TT. Yeah. yeah. Yep. His name, Ivan TT, okay? Yes. <laughs> Ivan TT? Team Ivan TT? <laughs> Team Ivan TT. <laughs> yeah! That's actually, uh, oops. <laughs> what? Team Ivan TT makes it sound weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Because cause the second team. Yeah! Team. That's a good name! <laughs> it suits us! Also, then, I'll register your team as Ivan TT. Registering, registering, all registered. <laughs> Yonta! Did she just add it to a list in her, in her brain, and that was, like, her registering the whole thing? Congratulations! <laughs> From now on, you're an official exploration team. By what means? All you did was, like, say you registered it. I present you with this in commemoration. Oh, okay. So they give it. Wiggly Tough set down a Pokepal, uh, Pokemon exploration team kit. A Pokemon exploration team kit? Yep! It's what every exploration team needs! Quick, open it up! Pikachu opened the Pokemon exploration team kit. There was an explorer badge inside. And a wonder map. And a treasure bag! <laughs> yeah! 
There are all sorts of great items in here. Especially for the That's your explorer badge. That's your explorer badge. It's your official team identification. Yeah. And there's the wonder map, which is a wonder f of convenience. Finally, there's a treasure bag. It lets you carry items you find in dungeons. Your success as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag. Pikachu appeared in the treasure bag. There was a defense scarf inside. A silver bow was also inside. What do those do? Those two items are special. Oh, thanks. I'm sure oh. they will help you out on your adventures. Doesn't tell me what they do. Thank you. We'll do our best. Yep. But you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. <laughs> we will. Who trains? Let's always do our no. best, Ivan. No. Oh, that was really good timing with the music. This is your room. Great! We get beds! As if you expected something else. <laughs> like, just... Okay. This is you will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow. Is this like a pyramid scheme or what? I'm so rise early and start story. living up to our code. Is this... Right? I'm super confused as to what, how this exploration team works, because now I'm thinking it's kind of like a pyramid scheme. It is very much a pyramid scheme. So oh, you've got okay. the Guildmaster, which has uh, the most responsibility and the most power, uh, who's able to manipulate who and who is not inside the guild. Then you have the Guildmaster's uh, sort of taskmaster, to say, um, which would be Chata, and he kind of oversees how the apprentices are and other guild members are doing. Now, not all of the guild members live at uh, the guild. A lot of them who have earned up enough money live elsewhere, um, but apprentices are forced to stay at the guild so that those higher up in the guild can keep an eye over them. Hmm. Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. Oh, now we have a curfew, too. Seems oh. like this guy's trying to control everything about us. Yes, your apprentices. Well, thanks for that, Ryan. <laughs> You'll help, though. Like this game went black. I thought it was just gonna be the touch screen for a while. Dot 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 dot. Oh, are you still awake, Ivan? Nope. My heart's been racing all day today over every little thing. Not true. Oh, but I'm glad I finally made myself come here. Well, that's good. Pikachu, I do not need to know what you do in your free time. That's nasty. I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. Yeah, a little too friendly. We're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. Only a little scared. In fact, not very. Just it's scared. the other way around. I'm super excited about all the adventures we'll face. Uh, I'm feeling a little sleepy. Well, you're Let's give our all tomorrow. Midnight. <laughs> okay, Ivan. Good night. Bad night. Um. Now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be in an exploration team, and it's fun to be with friends with Pikachu, but first things first, who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. What? Well, thinking about it won't help right now. Okay. I better focus on the kill's work for now. If I do that, well... Everything should become clear eventually. No, not at all. I'm sure, we'll get to the bottom of this in time. Sleep. Sleep. Would you like to save your adventure? No. Okay. Exploration Team Quick Tip. Never save your adventure. You can save a record of your progress by climbing into your bed from now on. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb onto your bed. That's how you save this game, which is cool. The next morning. Hey! Hey, hey there! Rise and shine! <laughs> My head is pounding! What ridiculously loud voice! It's almost blasted my eardrums! Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Because it's like 2 a.m., man. Oh, 2 p.m. That's you. Ugh! <laughs> My, my poor ears. Come on, snap out of it! I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. 
If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it! Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper. If you make him lose it... Yowie! That would be one very scary scene. I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeesh! So anyway, I'm not gonna get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get in gear! Urk, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Er, <laughs> oh yeah! We signed up as apprentices at Wigglytuff's Guild. That's right. <laughs> but that means... Wah! Oh, we totally overslept. We've got to hurry, Ivan. You're late, rookies! You're a rookie. Hush. Your voice is ridiculously loud. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Everyone seems to be present. Everyone seems to be present. Very well. Let us conduct our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance. There's only ten people in this guild. It's a pretty weak guild. Just they're just know. apprentices, and uh, a couple of them are guild workers. Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. <laughs> Snorful. <laughs> Guildmaster Wiggly Duff never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Yup, looks like he's wide awake. Eek! His eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Oh, thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon. Take our Guildmaster's, Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. <laughs> Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers. All together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away, away and pay. pay. Three, three, smiles go, go for miles. miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! Hurrah! Oh. Diggly and Dutch Trios think they're so cool because they can just burrow underground. Well, I guess Ooh. we just, uh... Where do we go from here? I don't know. What do well, we do? Hey, you two... You shouldn't just be wandering around there. You two come here. Well, you didn't tell us to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're just beginners. We'll have to start you off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests. Oh, I thought this said religions. <laughs> no. Nope. You're quite wrong. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep. Because that because the flow of time is getting messed what? up. What? It's wreaking havoc, right? Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. Flow of time is getting messed up. Time? Is it hours and minutes? Did <laughs> something has gone wrong with time here? Because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on? Precisely. <laughs> time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we have noticed an, incre an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, it's unknown if this is because of time's influence. There has also been a massive They're outbreak They're just talking of about that like it's normal! Like, oh, looks like time got messed up again. There has also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Roll credits. I said it. I said roll credits. <laughs> so, Ivan, you know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. True. If you faint in a dungeon, you'll lose all your money. Oh. You can even lose half your items. Or more. Oh. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go inside one, there are always new things to discover. They really are fantastic places to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? 
That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So... What a coincidence. Let's look here for a job that you should perform. Oh yes, maybe this will do. Oh really? Let's read it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession. My precious pearl. That pearl is life itself. To me, so you, so I just can't seem to settle down if that dead pearl now. isn't in its proper place atop my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. Oh well, yeah, for the weak. I could never go somewhere so frightening. Because you're weak. Oh, friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? Well, I you beg your help, exploration team members. From we getting paid? Spoink. Wait a second. <laughs> We're only supposed to fetch an item that someone dropped? I would rather do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure or explore unknown places. Things like that. Don't get too greedy, Pikachu. Hush! Yikes! It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent here... Sent back here if either of you faints. You'll lose all your money, and you could lose half of your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you understand all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Uh, wow. Chat out to the deck. No, the this, this must be the bluff's entrance. Well, I mean, yeah. Spoink's mission um, description said that the pearl is deep down on basement 7 floor level below some of them. It sounds it like sounds a like seriously dangerous, dangerous place. Dangerous Let's be place. careful. Let's be careful. Let's, Let's do our do best, our best Ivan. Ivan. Trench bluff below one floor. You and your partner can now hold one item each. Stop. Cool. So... We got pretty far in this episode. We're gonna pick this up next time. Woohoo! See you guys later! Bye!